Good morning. Today, we're going to talk about adoration, which means to love and respect one deeply. When we express adoration for our Heavenly Father, it's part of our recognizing who He is right. and all the things about Him, like His mercy, His holiness, His goodness, His faithfulness, His righteousness, His truth, His justice, and you know what, even so much more. Absolutely. It's us expressing our awe and our love for Him. Mm -hmm. And that was the case in 1972 with Terry Coelho and her sister as they were driving home from a Christian life conference. They were worshiping God as they traveled. And this was a spirit-led and um, time as they were making up the song as they went. And then that led to the text and the tune of Father, I Adore You. And Terry had just become a Christian about a year before. And at the age of 20, she was worshiping the Lord through her own original music that That's the Lord awesome. had given her. Yes. It was a beautiful song of praise and adoration that many of us mm -hmm. still um, sing and have sung through the decades. And also many of us um, have some of our most intimate times of worship, either in the car or at the closet, in the closet at home. That's true, because yeah. oftentimes it's just you and God. Yeah. Um, he doesn't mind if you're on pitch mm -hmm. or if you make up the song as you go along. Right. It just becomes your heart song, your yeah. personal love song for Him. And I think a lot of times it's just out of a posture of humility and before His greatness mm -hmm. that true adoration is born. Amen. Um, and this is also the case with Lori Klein. She's the author of one of my favorite songs, I Love You, Lord. Oh, same. Um, she was a young mom living in a camper in the high deserts of Central Oregon. Her husband was a full-time college student, and the couple was surviving on like $400 a month. Wow. They had no church home. They had no friends nearby. And to top it off, Lori didn't drive. Oh, my gosh. So one day while her baby was sleeping, um, she was having her quiet time with the Lord. And this is what she said about her personal time with him. She said, it was a very hopeless time, a very depressed time. I felt the poverty of my own life keenly at that point, both emotionally and physically. Mm. She said that morning that she was so empty, she knew she didn't have anything to offer the Lord. And so she asked him <laughs> if he would like to hear her sing. Oh. It just, uh, and, and, and if so, if he would just give um, her something that he would be in the mood to hear. Oh. And that's how I Love You, Lord, was born. It became her heart song. And she describes it as a gift from God that emerged spontaneously in that moment. And it reminds me of Psalm 116.1. And it says, I love you, Lord, because you've heard my voice and my pleas for mercy. Oh. So this week, may we be encouraged to spend alone time with the Lord, just adoring Him. Be intentional about that time. And remember, most importantly, that the location does not matter to Him. It's just the intentionality of that time. Amen. Would you pray with us? Father, thank you so much for the incredible love that you have for us. Mm. And Father, we long to love you that deeply as well. Yeah. Lord, we, and we do. We love you so much. Lord, may the praise that we offer you be like a sweet sound in your ear. Yeah. Father, may we lay our lives before you like a living sacrifice. Lord, we worship you now and always. Amen. Father, I adore you. Lay my life before you. How I love you. Jesus, I adore you. Lay my life before you. How I love you. Spirit, I adore you. Lay
I love you, Lord.